Abby, you have no kids. You really don't know That's what you're right. talking I know about. Nothing. We've won nationals four years in a row. And those weren't fixed. Not I think doing you made it. your point. Do you think your moms were bad sports? No. It should have been done. Proper. I feel that it was through my turn. They deserve more than what they were given. You've been a little rough on Jess and JoJo this season, so we're going to take a look at this clip, and then I want to talk about it on the other side. I think being able to speak in front of people is not a bad thing. It's the way you speak, though. Your kid told every single one of these kids um, that she shy. called a clothing dip person and said, I'm at the ALDC this week. Send me a package of clothes. No. Free. For free. For free. And oh, I got these for free, and I got these for free, and I got these for free. Jesslyn, I'm just going to ask, what, what do you think watching that? Well, first I was wondering if Kira had a speech impediment or what was going on. That was pretty bad. That was horrible. Jesslyn, we have a relationship. I've known you for a very long time. So I would never say that to any other kid that couldn't take it. I know JoJo, and she has a, she t she knew. We still talk about it today. So that she makes teases it okay it. to poke fun It doesn't kid. make it OK. Maybe sometimes a kid know. needs fun poked. What? I think I think you have some deeper issues, and I don't know if this is the right forum to talk about them. I have no issues. None. I have no issues. I have issues. As a person that teaches children day in and day out, I have a lot of issues with JoJo. I love her. I think she is a fabulous kid, but I think you are doing detrimental harm to her. How? Not using a speech therapist. Are you a speech not, therapist? Not getting, Do you have a degree in? Not. I've worked on a lot of speeches. Not like getting, I said, you're not a speech therapist. Not okay. getting her. Are you a mother? When she Are, needs let's them. just go with 101. Are not you even a mom? Not having her in school no. when she needs to be. Yes. Does she go to school? Oh, I'm sorry. She's in sixth grade. Did you know that she's supposed to be in fifth grade? When you have a child and she's a grade ahead and she's happy and she's and thriving. She can't, hear and she can't say her R's and she's 10. Um, she's, she's 11. 11. She's 11. She's sorry. 11. Yeah, but she's just a couple months. Kendall's in sixth grade. She's where she belongs. Yeah. She's JoJo grade started ahead. school. She's been in school before? A semester. A semester, oh, uh -huh. one semester uh -huh. of school. Oh, okay. Yes. So when you put the headphones on and you have to lift your hand up when you hear the hearing test every year for kindergarten, first, second, and third grade, she didn't take that. Once again, Abby, you have no kids. You really don't know That's what you're right. talking about. That's right, I know about. nothing. You said it, not Excuse me. Excuse me! <laughs> you're right, you are the loudest Ms. one in the room. Abby! I think I need a hearing you test You win, right you're now. the loudest one in the room. One thing's for sure, it's clear that JoJo has a lot of personality. Let's take a look at this clip. Don't have an attitude that you are entitled in this world. You are not. You deserve nothing else. You earn it. You can't stand here and cry. Well, if you yell at me, I'm gonna cry. Get out. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Why'd she just tell me to get out? Because you talked back to her. So you're sorry. Well, why should I say sorry? Because you're a bigger person than she is. Our kids would never do that. So, Melissa, you said in the clip that your daughters would never do that. Explain. Because they know Abby. Like, Joe doesn't well, know Abby never the way. say never. Well, really. No, Mackenzie rolls her eyes, but it's... I'm... Oh, but not anymore. And what did Joe just say? If you're going to yell at me, I'm going to cry. Mackenzie yeah. stood in the room and said, I'm not afraid of Abby. She's not, because she loves Abby, because she trusts so Abby. she can say things, but Jojo can't? Because like, she's not afraid no, of Abby. No, she wouldn't say them anymore. She's learned her lesson. But she's she's said them since I've been here. It's OK that she said, I'm not afraid of Abby. Is that wrong to say? No child should be afraid of me. Why they should they... want to please me, and they should respect me, yeah. but they should never be afraid. No, not at all. So Abby, we had a very big, dramatic, emotional ending to the season. The two big top lines were Ava beat Maddie, and that the ALDC team group came in second. So tell us about it. What are your feelings? OK, fixed. Explain that to us. So ladies, anybody else? It was a disastrous nationals for us. Our kids danced and looked great, but they didn't get judged properly. Uh, I think it was orchestrated. No question. The award ceremony was not run well. But to critique a competition that we went to and say it's fixed, absolutely disgraceful. I have never heard us say something was fixed when we win. When we lose, all of a sudden, a competition's fixed. So That's to all those kids across. that won, it's a joke. I think the competition was a joke. If they want to feel like they're fabulous because they won, let them feel Well, they that did way. win. They had the highest score. They won. Everything was all screwed up at Nationals. Like, they had no credibility 
by the time they ended up giving all of their awards out because they were giving kids awards that weren't in that category. We agree that the Master of Ceremony seemed a bit confused and was very nervous. A bit? A bit's an understatement. This was Nationals, Jeff. Fair enough, fair enough. That's not fair to our kids. Fair enough. Here's the thing that I don't understand. You guys walked out of the awards ceremony. Why? Awards were over. The kids awards were finished. Awards were not over. Yes, they were. They were not over. When Melissa wanted to leave, they had announced second overall. So did you think it was the end and they weren't going to announce first overall? Or were you I being said, a sore loser and you wanted to get up and walk out? No, we I thought wasn't. the competition was over. We waited until the end. No, I Melissa. The Melissa hall. was the first one that I it was not over. And nope. said we're leaving. You nope. look like sore losers. And that's why the crowd yeah. booed you when you walk out. All right, well, let's take a look at that moment with the Abby Lee Dance Company, except, of course, Holly and Jesselyn, walking out of the competition. Let's see. And in our overall small group category, in second place, the waiting room, Abby Lee Dance Company. OK, I'm sorry, but girls, we need to walk out. I'm done. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Come on. They can't move. Yes, they can. It's yeah, illegal. You can't hold children against their will in the state of California. Abby, you've made it clear in the past that Frank, the owner of this competition, is a friend of yours. No. We obviously just saw you say to Frank that you enjoyed going to his competitions and that you liked him. Yeah, but he's not my friend. He's a person I do business with. You obviously held him in high enough regard to say that in person. Why would you think that all of a sudden he would be corrupt? It happens. Holly and Jess, you chose not to walk out. Right, right. So because of the fact that we don't want to destroy this man's reputation, Frank, who is the owner of this competition, we ask him to come back and talk to you. Let's take a look at this and see what he said. I just wanted to come and, and say, uh, you know, we try to put on a very, very fair competition. Um, if I didn't, word would, would get out immediately like wildfire, and I would have no business. I don't fix anything for anybody. My job is to run the best possible event, and I would hate for you to think that there's something going that, that's oh, wrong. Oh, we, we do not. Zero. You know? I'm so I mean, sorry you got caught in a crossfire. Oh, I'm, I'm not worried not about it. You supported this man for four years, and now all of a sudden his competitions are fixed. Because we've won nationals four years in a row. And those weren't fixed. Well, I don't know, Jess. Now, no, I have we no know, idea. No, we question we everything. Regardless if they were it. or weren't. I mean, you just questioned it when you lost. Did you go to those competitions in the past? No, never. We've never been to a Frank competition? Yeah, we yes. have. At Abby's request, we went to his competition. Abby, you took Nia out of the Bollywood number. I did. Why? Because we didn't have enough costumes. Holly, have there been other costume problems? Costuming has been an issue for the entire season. I think all the moms shared the same concern. Every Friday night, we're picking things, sewing things, making things, gluing things, stoning things. And we don't get any recognition. We're happy to do it. Every because Friday night, Abby hands us like a roll of toilet paper, a square of tissue, and a sequin, and says, here, MacGyver up a costume so your kid looks fabulous on television. And we're like. But it's your responsibility, Abby, as a dance teacher. There's a budget for it, and that's your job. My child was not permitted to dance because you didn't have enough costumes because for Because your two child children. got a solo instead. Well, other people had duets. Hey, so I'll take the so solo Kendall had a solo. Kendall had a solo that week. So, I mean, it's just arbitrary that I don't I understand why she did a solo in the group dance. In my casting of the group dance, to pull her out to work on the solo, period. So what next time, no costume. solo, and no, I'll make sure she's in the no. group. No, Nia deserves Instead a solo. Instead of being no. honored no. and proud and she taking the cup honored. half full, that my kid Why does solo Nia this have thing? to have either Ooh. or? Why is Nia either or, a solo or a group? Who else gets either or? No other child on this team has to have either or. No That's other outrageous. child on this team. That's outrageous. Oh, Does come on. have either or? Does Maddie have either or? Mackenzie? You know darn well that Nia's solos have not produced what other people's have. It's plain and simple. Abby, you sound insane. I wanted her to concentrate on the solo. I wanted her to succeed, to be a pro doing the solo. Done. OK, and you know what? She did a fine job, and she still rose to the occasion, as she always does. Not everybody is always going to be in the group. That's it. Welcome back. We're here with the ALDC and Abby, and we're talking about Hollywood, your experiences here in Hollywood. 
All right, so look, I've lived in Hollywood for 20 some years, and I know that Hollywood sometimes can change people, sometimes very quickly and sometimes over time. So when you guys look around, would you say that there's any one of you that Hollywood has changed more than any of the others? Well, I think uh, of, the, of the moms here, I think Holly, in my mind, has changed the most. Has yes. gone totally, like, flip, totally different. She's no longer a Pittsburgh mom, and she's all Hollywood, off and running. I took Mia's passion, her desire, when we came out to LA and what she wanted to do, and I treated it how I would approach a job. How are we gonna be strategic? How are we going to network? No different. There is nothing wrong with what I've done. Okay, Holly has a lot going on outside of, of what we do here, and Holly's always late because she's off with oh, Mia doing stuff. Oh, that's not true. No, no, Holly. How dare you Wait. always late? Oh. Holly, I'm not making it a bad thing. And well, I, I think, too, a lot of it, too, is like, the, the two kids on the team that probably missed the most school and had to make up were your two kids. Now, which... Mia was on time. She took advantage of opportunities, but Mia has done okay. and fulfilled okay, all so of her schoolwork. you miss school, school and other things to take advantage of no, opportunities. No, you miss school, school, you miss school, school in the morning, morning and then you do it in the afternoon. Absolutely, but always yes. make it up. Okay, but when we were all together, you were out making opportunities for your child doing something else. It never used to be like that. That's all. No. Oh, Don't yeah. be so defensive, oh, Holly. falsifying information. No, no, you're very defensive. And because you shouldn't be. Because you're lying. Uh, Holly, you're lying. do not sit there and call me a liar. You Everybody said here knows your kid wouldn't come. She wouldn't. She'd do it oh later in the God. day because you she would She went do... to school. You can go to school right. before okay. or after. You didn't after. show up she when went to everybody after. asked her. So did, you're saying she didn't go to school. That's yeah. a lie. I didn't say she didn't go to you school. You did. I said she didn't show up. Um, she did to school. Holly, be quiet for once and listen to she what I'm saying. She went to school, but she was supposed to be quiet for once and listen to what I'm saying. You know what? I'm not going to have to Be quiet for once. She will never be quiet because she can never listen to what anybody else says. She is going to talk about Mia. You've made it a point. Holly, I don't think you should leave. I think you should have a seat. And let's finish the show really quick, OK? Everyone's made their point. OK. So Holly, do you think, you're, do you think your approach is working for Nia? It seems to be working. I'm very happy. I have no regrets. How did it feel to find out that the Zigglers were leaving the way you found out? Well, I expect more from Melissa. You know, I, I just think it's very odd I did that, it through the proper channels, just like when you have a contract on Broadway and say, you know what, if something comes up better, you go in and say, I want to give my two weeks notice, something came up better. That's what you do. Okay. But you don't lie to the director and the producer for months on end going into it. They all lie. know there was an audition and you went to it and you told them. The director and the producer and the lawyer and everybody knew about it. You can think whatever you want. I know the truth. But what have you heard, Abby? <laughs> just between us girls, come here. My student is going to go on and judge so you think you can dance. And I am thrilled beyond belief because I will be able to get tickets every single <laughs> week to that show. I am thrilled. Well, they're not allowed to talk about it. Jess, you look like you're about to say something. What do you well, think? I want to go back to Abby's reaction because Abby cried for hours when Melissa told her. This woman sat in my mother's hospital room. Well, right, I get it. Like, we're day all happy Day after day after day. Why would I not be happy? Right, OK, but I, I agree with that. We're all very happy. But like, when we said, should we plan a party? Should we do something? You were like, no, nothing. Well, because all that I was asking for and what I said and still continue to say is there should have been a press conference with you, me, Maddie McKenzie sitting there telling the world that this was a positive, wonderful, great thing That's what happening. That's trying to do. And that this had nothing to do with Pittsburgh or the ALDCLA. The girls would continue their training and their work under their teacher How and under my tutelage. That That's what week. should have been done. Well, it should have been done properly. I feel that it was through my attorney. I don't think so. 
Holly, you're an original team member, so, I mean, do you feel that she handled it correctly? Intellectually, I totally understand it and respect it. But, on a, per but on a personal level, it was hard, I think, for many of the moms when we were reading it in the tabloids, when Melissa would continuously say, it's a lie, it's a lie. You're gossiping. We're like, Melissa. Because it was gossip then. Melissa, it really was not Melissa. And I think that's the yeah, part it was. wasn't as truthful. One of the articles was Maddie actually doing the interview. Whether it was true or not, the it tabloids wasn't... printed it that it was a quote from Maddie. She didn't say she was leaving the team. I was the one who brought it up because I read it for myself well, on my you're, you're I mean, like a was... troublemaker. You like oh, to cause no. drama. And it was real. And you did call me a lie. Melissa, as your friend, we're telling you it's, it wasn't quite fine. It, it is what it is. I just feel that I should always be the first to know, not the last. Let's take a look at that moment when Melissa shared that she, Maddie, and Mackenzie would be leaving. I appreciate you and everything you've done for my kids. But after this season, we're just going to not be on the elite team anymore. My question is, Maddie is signed, sealed, and delivered to shoot the Sia movie. Yeah. So she's not doing anything else between the movie and now. Um, I don't want to see them on So You Think You Can Dance, kids. I don't want to, th them doing anything like don't that. Don't worry. Maddie's not going to be um, dance on So You Think You Can Dance, kids. Maddie's not going on that, so. All right. We have four more competitions. And then it's over. Yeah, but we've been here for a long time. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me before this? You couldn't call me on the I, weekend? I didn't want to even think about it, to be honest with you. Just always want you to be proud of them. I'm proud of them. I know you are. Abby, I mean, look, you're getting emotional about this. There's a lot, clearly a lot of love for these girls and a lot of passion behind she it. She loves them. This is not to take away from Maddie, but they would not have the life that they have today if it was not for me. And I put aside my personal life, my, my own income, my own everything for those kids. You have to be happy for Maddie moving on, going to do that. I said that a hundred times. I'm thrilled. Because you don't I, seem thrilled. No, though. I am still trying to keep a studio in Pittsburgh alive and going, and the public just doesn't understand the difference between the show and our real life. So when they see the kids leaving the LDC, that's sure, wrong. But, but right there, you're thinking of yourself. Yeah. Give them their due. They have given a lot to be a part of this, and they deserve more than what they were given. Well, they're going to go get more. We have to discuss something not so fun. You guys lost at nationals. The season finale was the most controversial season finale in all Dance Moms history. Let's watch it. First place, 2015 Nationals champion. Moving target, Broadway Dance Academy. Did everyone pay to come to this or was it free? Hey. You paid to come to this? You should all make a line and demand your money back for your kid's entrance fee as well as your fee to walk in here, because this is a joke. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Before you all leave, we've got something very special to do away. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. You can't do it. Yes, they can. It's yeah. illegal. You can't hold children against their will in the state of California. What happened? I mean. <laughs> Do you think that was bad sportsmanship, walking out? I do. I think that we should be happy for everyone. I also think that since Abby was kind of in a different mood, if we didn't follow what she said, like if we didn't walk off stage, I feel like we would have all gotten yelled at. You were beat by BDA. Did, did they deserve to win, or do you think you deserve to win? We tried the best we could, and we actually made some people cry. So as long as we knew that people in the audience were touched by it, we know that it was one of our best national dances, so. Everybody has different days. Sometimes you get lucky and the three judges think that you were better, and other days, three judges think that they were better. So I think it just really depends on who the judges are and what competition you're at and what's happening. Yeah. All that matters is that we had lots of fun. And we did the yeah. best we could and do. we danced really good, I mean. Yeah. yeah. 
You guys are great sports, obviously. Do you think your moms were bad sports? No, I think it was more Abby. Yeah, it was. <laughs> my mom didn't leave, so no. Yeah, my mom didn't either. Go Jesslyn and Holly. So, do you think you guys are competitive with each other? If it's like a week where Abby's like, you have to win, you have to win, then of course you're gonna be competitive because like you want to do good for your teacher and for yourself. I don't think I am that competitive, only if it's with my sister. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, she wins a lot. So Abby's always like, when she was your age, she was better than you and she was beating everyone. But you beat her once. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Um, you, you beat your yes, sister. Yes, I did. Okay. Let me say something. No, it's so, my turn. So Mackenzie beat me, and on her plaque that she won, she wrote, I beat Maddie with this. I did. And then. Round of applause. But it's, it's OK, because the next, okay, the next week, I just beat her, and then she never beat me since. See, so, but whatever. I mean, I was happy for her, but. No, um, you weren't. No, yes, I was. You didn't. They, okay. Whenever Nia beat me, we went, we went to Disneyland, Disneyland after. <laughs> we went to Disneyland after. It's different with all of us, but like us two, you know, we get mad at each other because we're sisters. sisters. We spend we spend 24 seven with each other. This is annoying. This is annoying. It is. It was Kenzie's day. Yeah, it was. It was. 